Previously on Eve's Nine Monstrum Nox, the party took on a quest to free a prisoner, but they unknowingly enlisted the aid of the non-monstrum at all in his new roof friend. And the prisoner turned out to be an assassin. Afterwards, the party moved on to easier side quests, including one where they get tricked by a peeping Tom with criminal ties. Residual enmity lingers in the air here. You shouldn't just leave us be. Okay. Challenge. Requ twenty Level 20. Purge. What's this thing? It appears that in this instance of the Grimold Nox, the enmity has crystallized. Also known as a lacrima, they appear in places where lemmerays gather. The concentration of enmity becomes so dense it forms a solid mass. It makes my skin crawl every time I see one. The en enmity here must be at critical levels for it not to happen. Well, we gotta get rid of them, right? Yes, lacrimae provoke the lemmerays, which in turn produce more enmity. If we don't stop this, the Nox will manifest in the real world. So all we have to do is smash them before then. There isn't a moment to spare. Our objective is for this Nox, to, for this Nox is to destroy the Lacrime. Uh, new types of objective. The time is nigh. Stand ready. Lay waste to the malevolent, lest the night prevail. As the sentinel between the dark and light, I approach of the fall of this dust. Uh, time limit as well. And there's a t the hourglass ones add extend a time limit for me, huh? Hmm. Monstrum. Get this started. Here's your fight! Ah, I'm not done yet! All charged up! You're mine! Stabbing you in with your mind! Get it! You're mine! Move it! My time Let's to go. shine! You assistance? They're everywhere, these fucking things. I'm glad I have- it's a team effort, but still this kind of sucks. My time is Oh crap. Purge boss. Looks like you could use a little relief. Oh fuck, the boss is here already! Shins up, darlings! You ready for this? My time to shine! Yeah! 
My time to shit. Not exactly. Let's get this party. Okay. Three minutes fifty to spare. Do we get the do we get the S rank? If it is, I'm just gonna- I'm not even gonna bother redoing that, even though I got sloppy with the boss. <laughs> yep, that's rank. I'd expect no less from all of you. This bodes well for the future. Warlord Elixir. I'll be taking my leave now. Me too, catch you later. Oh, before you go. We should tell them about what happened on Artisan Lane, at all? Crimson King White Cat explained the thefts on Artisan Lane to the others. Well, I feel almost flattered that we have imposters. It was only a matter of time. Now, do you see why I was against giving people the wrong impression? I'm sorry. It's in the past now, but something about this doesn't sit well right with me. What, so why are you helping? I thought you were only looking out for yourself. Who said I wasn't? I had some time to kill, so I figured why not. And what about you, doll? As a doll, I do not have desires of my own. However... Hmm, never mind that. It's, it is of no importance. I would, but I don't have the time. If I come across any information, though, I'll let you know. Haha, <laughs> sure you will. I wish I could help too, but it's not just not a great time right now. Sorry, maybe next time? Oh. Well, that's our cue. Good luck. Back to Drabville we go. Take care. Okay, arsenal barrier lifted. Let's grab that landmark so I can report it. Arson Lane. This is Arson Lane, the site of all those recent thefts. The antique shop was one of the victims. We should go ask around there. Oh, oh wait, isn't that... Yufa? Um, Yufa, are you okay? What? Oh gee, sorry I didn't see you guys. Guess I was a little out of it there, huh? Out for a walk? Are y'all shopping? <laughs> oh, you can tell? I was about to go buy some veggie plants at the market. Veggie plants? You do know you're in Orison Lane, right? Oh, did I say plants? I meant plates. Shantae wanted me to get some dishware. Plus, I have to deliver something to one of my friends in the entertainment district. That's a whole lot of er errands. I don't know where you get the energy, Yufa. It's honestly kind of impressive. Well, we've all got our saving graces. So I'm guessing you guys are here to go check out that antique shop like you said. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, here's hoping the culprits are caught soon, for everyone's sake. Anyway, I've got to run. See you at back at the bar. Sure thing. Ah. Yufa? Not that you were hiding it particularly well, but you're not looking too hot. Kratos right, are you feeling okay, Yufa? It's nothing, I'm just a little tired is all. We'll walk you back to the bar. Are you okay? No, I'm fine, honest. Besides, I've caused you guys enough trouble as it is. What are you saying, Yufa? You've been nothing but a help to us this whole time. At all. Oh, if it ain't big and brawny. If I'd come by and help out with all that ruckus in Artisan Lane. 
Didn't know you were here too, though, Yufa. Wait, did I miss something? I get it now. She's been running off her feet ever since the bar opened. Exhaustion must have finally caught up. Yufa here works harder than the rest of us put together. That's what Chate told me. Yufa. Alright, you guys still have things to do, right, Adol? I'll bring Yufa here back to the bar with me. Thanks, Ogi. Sorry for all this. Come on now, none of that. When one of us falls, the rest of us pick him ba uh, back up again. Like we keep saying at the end of the day, you're one, the one giving us a hand here. Well, I can't argue with that, I guess. You can help me back to the bar now. I should be good to go after some rest. Sure thing. I'll do my best to keep you standing s till then. Don't push yourself too hard, okay, Yufa? I'll try. Sorry for showing you guys, uh, slowing you guys down with this. Well, I'll see you later then, Adol. Make sure you give those thieves what's coming to them for me, yeah? After seeing Dogi and Yufa off, you resumed your search of Arson Lane. I hope Yufa will be okay. Why don't you go back and keep her company then? No! This is just as important! <laughs> New location! Memorial Tree. <laughs> it's alright, I guess. White asparagus? Ah, Azure Petal. And Graffiti. The words are too faded to really make out of the moment. Oh, come on. I see it in the tree. Yes, I got it! The Azure Petal in the tree. All right, filled out another 100 knocks, and that gives me probably another challenge. Oh no. Finally, a chance for some real fun. Way to go, Crimson King. Keep on bringing Baldrick that Mayhem it deserves. Good workout. I see. That brings her total to six. Thanks, man. Seriously. Oh, don't worry. I didn't forget your reward. Every free landmarks. Warlord Elixir, yes. Azure Petal. We did it! Azure Petal? This is. Hmm. Treasure. Antidote. I'm a thief at the end of my rope. Think you can now steal me? You're welcome to try. Go to the agricultural district. The grass is greenest in the most fragrant corner of the fence. Hmm. Azure Petal all the way up here. Norris Blue? As your pedal. We did it! One of these days I'll outdo you, you stubborn old goat. Then we'll see who the real master is. Marcel. Heavy armor. Reza's hit defense and max hit points. Hmm. Need something? As opposed to light armor, which increases crit and evasion, I think. What do you need? Steel armor. Hmm. Is this better? Would this be worth using over my current one? It's not like it'll slow me down, so I could just go ahead and use it. Iron shield's also pretty good, but I need more wood shields. Hmm. Something bothering you? The goods we sell were all made at our workshop here. Each one's for forged according to traditional Glean technique. Satisfaction guaranteed. Stop by whenever you find yourself in the need of any armor or bracers. See ya. The gauntlet. So this shop sells have been real lifesavers, time and time again. I've gotten to know the owner pretty well over the course of my visits here. I'm gonna ask if everything's alright with what happened recently. Hmm, might be a good idea to farm resources for that one. Oh, Azure Petal here? Damn it, Master Marshall ju just doesn't get it. If we use a different ore, we can make the product both lightweight and rigid. If anything, it's an improvement on the old Glean way of doing it. But that old man won't even try to understand where I'm coming from. Hey, 
some treasure. Tomato. The blacksmith family is cursed. A Norwin and a tree. Yes. Yup. Got, got one. As repel in the tree. Uh. Oh, there's some kind of graffiti hidden. Oh, why do I have to be the only sad sack in the sea of happy saps? All I want is for every single person in life to be more of a miserable wretch than me. Is that so much to ask? Didn't even get an Arca for it. The hostess of the Dan Lane is the cutest girl I've ever seen. Maybe they can hire me as a host to even it out. Life elixir. Azure pedal here. <laughs> we did it! Well, this is a housing facility for all the apprentice blacksmiths my dad takes on. We're a pretty big operation, so everyone stays here instead of at the workshop. I'd call us lucky that the monstrums haven't stolen anything from us. But everyone's rooms are such dumps that I doubt you could even find anything to steal. I've never seen anyone as skilled at needlework as Master Gazelle. Plus, she's always so patient teaching me. I have nothing but the utmost respect for her. Oh, here's one. Azure pedal. Azure pedal. This is. Thanks to those monstrums, I've got a draft of a damages report. I know I rep represent the entire craft guild, but we're blacksmiths, not wordsmiths. See about Gusko, though. We all lost a great man in him. Fellow was so skilled at his craft that he started building a rep with the nobility. It wasn't long before his rivals began against run funny rumors about him out, out of pure spite. I'll have to I'll have a look into things, see if there's anything I can do, still do from here. What an outrage. Shakes the real weakling to rob the helpless folks of Arson Lane. The culprits had better be ready to answer to the toughest man in the city. Me, Durleff. Moha, does, don't matter if they're monstrums or what. They're getting stronger right away. I wonder what's going on with Grizz Spell over at the prison right now. I doubt they'll post any info, info about him here, but I can't help stop myself from checking anyway. My older brother was dragged away to prison about a week ago. They said it was because he'd gone violent after losing a battle in a gladiator match. But my brother can't even stand gambling. They've got to be making a mistake here. Or I just wish they'd clear his name so he could come back already. Chest. 1500 gold? Come razor hammers, for the stones we break shall build our homes. Come line the logs, for the stones they convey shall be our ramparts. In the sweat of labor lies our pride as countrymen. Chest. Smoked meat. What the? There was a secret door here. The heck? Waterfall storeroom? Strength elixir? Wow, I didn't think there was actually anything there. That was just an, a happy accident. Digging at the base of the fence to reveal a stash of gold coins. Okay. That'll make it hopefully easier to afford the heavier armor. Oh, a new store is open. Thanks for letting me know. Inform me of 21 stores so far. If there are any errands I can run for you, just say the word. Oh, is there a milestone for stores? Hmm. Oh, it's a hieroglyph knight. I wonder what he wants with the stone mason. Oh, it's him. Let's just split. But isn't he a friend of yours, Kratos? Kratos? Says who? Come on, let's just go before... Wait, hey, you over there! Great, you saw me. Thanks a lot, for, for brains. How's this my fault? Well, 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 if this isn't Kratos, skulking around as usual. I don't suppose you've made any progress investigating those thefts. Doubtful, seeing as you're out-cavorting with the townsfolk, what would Gilbert think of this? Like I care, why don't you just shut your mouth, uh, shut your trap and mind your own business? I most certainly will not. When do you plan on realizing that being a knight means... I uh, apologize for the unseeming, uh, unseemly behavior, fair citizens. I am Huan of the Hieroglyph Knights. I became a squire around the same time as Kratos. I'm assuming you must be acquaintances of his. Has he been behaving himself? Or, well... Honestly, not in the slightest. He's been a great help, actually. No. Ah, oh, he hurt a man. Eh, that doesn't mean I believe him. Um, not to change the subject, but did something happen with the stonemason? Not exactly. Much as I prefer otherwise, we're actually in need of his services. The monstrums caused a huge ruckus attacking their hieroglyph commandery the other day. A number of our facilities were damaged as a result, so I came here to discuss repairs. I don't think I caused that much damage, did I? Curse those monstrums. Just thinking about it makes my blood boil. 
Those pesky, pesky monstrums always up to no good, aren't they? So what's brought you all the way out here? How awful. So that's what brought you all the way out here. How awful. That's not the half of it. We've heightened the patrols, even with the theft investigations. On top of that, Master Child Lord decided to up our training frequency and intensity. We haven't even had a chance to fully assess the Chapter House's damage yet. Well, you've stuck around listening for this long, Kratos. Don't you feel like helping out for once, even a little? Hmm, nope. See, I actually got these real urgent thefts to go investigate. Maybe you've heard of them. You're a real piece of work. You know what? You know that? Adol, don't you think we should help him out with this? I mean, we're monstrums too. In a way, it's kind of our responsibility. We'll help. Kredo included. Um... Well, you guys as well? I mean, I appreciate the offer, of course. But even if we're shorthanded, I'm a bit hesitant to ask for so, so, for so much from civilians. Hey, since when the hell did we make uh, you our mouthpiece, huh? We don't owe this moss-haired chump a damn thing. Kredo, nothing's more important in the workplace than trust. You need to reflect on why you have such a poor reputation with your fellow knights. You've managed to get by so far, but earning some brownie points now and then can't hurt. Otherwise, you'll have no one to blame but yourself if you end up discharged, you know? Oh yeah? And since when did I make you my career counselor? Ah, I can see your friends here care a great deal about you, Kredo. Alright, you guys can help. I'll let headquarters know. Keeping a leech on this guy's hell of a task in, in itself, I think you can handle it. Of course, we'll try to rein him in. The group made their way toward the chapter house, dragging a still grumbling Kratos behind them all the way. Shit, how the hell did I end up getting saddled with a chore duty? Though I guess it's my actual job now that that asshole who unofficially contacted HQ. Oh, chin up, Kratos. We came all this way, so we might as well get the job done right. Besides, finding the damages sh should be easy. After all, you're the one who caused them. Uh, guess there's no way out of it. Let's just get this over with. But for record, I don't recall Jack on why I broke. They call it a rampage for a reason. I didn't touch the barracks in the back, though. That much I know for sure. In that case, we should focus on checking the front side of the chapter house. Let's go see exactly how much Havoc Kratos ended up wreaking. What the? This thing's split. The heck? What happened here? Huh, did I end up w uh, wilding out up on the roof, too? Guess I must have flown here using my gift or something. You split the support beam completely in half. We're going to have to make sure we report this before someone gets hurt. Wait, are these where... Adol and Kresha fought the knights? I think they're the ones who did it, not Hawk this time. Whoops. Look, the knight's standard is all slashed up. I guess your rampage must have taken you all the way over here too. Oof, I had to lure those bastards out somehow, so that's what I did. Gotta kick a, a, a few of them in the canal for a swim before making a break for it, though. You ever see a guy freak out trying to swim in full armor? Gah, hilarious. You really don't pull any punches, and these are your fellow knights, too. Anyway, let's make sure we don't forget to report this location, too. Oh, look, some of this column has broken off. Yup, looks like I really did a number on it. It's their fault for trying to use it as cover. Loads of fun for me, though. I'm glad you feel so bad about it. Not that I really expect you to. Let's make sure we remember to include this in our report. Okay, I think we've seen just about everything by now. Huan should be coming back before long. Let's go report our findings to him. Isn't this where I fought all those... Uh, all those scripted encounters? This seems... I feel like not all of this is due to Hawk. Only some of it. Huan returned to the chapter house soon after, having finished consulting with the stone mason. Ella and his companions proceeded to report the chapter house's damages to him. Sounds like you guys conducted a pretty thorough search. I didn't expect us to have missed this much in our initial assessment. Job well done, especially you, Kratos. I'm surprised you took this so seriously. Oh, look at Kratos. Uh, look at that, Kratos. He praised you. Swell. Nothing like a backhanded compliment. I have to ask, how did you manage to notice the damage on the roof? You can't see it from below, and civilians are not typically allowed inside a chapter house. Um, well? Nothing ever gets past you, does it? In obvious, we scaled the walls to go and check, just like the monstrums. Kratos? Haha, <laughs> that joke was in poor taste at best. But I suppose if anyone were to notice, it'd be you. You are sharper sighted than most. I'll arrange for the locations you reported to be repaired at once. Many thanks to you and your friends, Kredo. Your help was, uh, was much appreciated. No problem at all. Ha! <laughs> My heart almost stopped. Guess we fooled him. Ha, <laughs> best way to wire a lie down is with a shot of truth. 
Well, now, what's all the commotion here? Uh-oh. All right, Master and, the Master and his lackey were playing on swing by the trainers today. What? Why didn't you tell us that earlier? Master Child Lord, uh, Seneschal Gilbert, you've arrived much sooner than expected. Indeed, we finished our duties at the prison early for the day. Hmm, what exactly is this lot doing here? What about that? Go on, proceeds to relate everything that had happened. Great, now he's going to be suspicious of us. So you have these civilians clean up your own mess then. How disgraceful. As if our honor hasn't been brought into question enough after that last uproar. My apologies, sir. This is all just a misunderstanding. We're the ones who offer to help. We figured we should do whatever we can with everything that's going on. Well, is this not cause for gratitude, Seneschal Gilbert? The very people we hire with knights to live to support have shown their support for us. If also us to strive more diligently than ever, lest we fall short of their expectations. Hmph, right, it's just as you say. It's been rather difficult to adequately see to things without that boy around. With that in mind, today's training will have to be especially stringent. Great. That boy... Let me thank you once more for your assistance. Our first city has been plagued by a myriad of unsettling rumors as of late. But rest assured, come what may, we of the Hieroglyph Knights shall defend our people. This we vow no matter when or where the Monstrum's wicked clutches take root. You have my sincerest thanks for your continued support. Whew, I definitely didn't expect to run to Master Shadow Lord himself. That was nerve-wracking. It hasn't been long since the last time. Yeah. I'll say. By the way, who was it they were talking about earlier? Well, besides the old fart, the knights actually have a second seneschal. My boss, as a matter of fact, he's on a long-term leave on account of illness or whatever. With that pretty boy gone, I can slack off as much as I damn well please. You never were one to mince words, now that you'd understand how hard he works. I'm going to have to ask you to keep an eye on Kratos' behavior for me. He doesn't have to be a model knight, just not one actively besmirching our good name. Uh, well, let's uh, see what we can do. That takes care of, uh, 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 of this time sink. Let's get to the good stuff already. Always happy to help. Strength elixir. Shoot, a cutscene appeared as soon as I approached this building. Oh. Hey, either step off the road or keep moving next time. Oh, sorry about that. What is it? What shop is this? Um. Well, it's an antique shop. The one that was stolen from, in fact. You don't say. We should ask inside. Right, I'll come with. Hope it doesn't advance the story too quickly. Um, the owner of Rodario should be here somewhere. Ringdale Antiques. Ringdale. Hmm. Oh, he's with a customer right now. Can we wait here until he's finished at all? Antique shop, huh? Not my thing. Does something feel weird about this place, or am I finally going crazy? Hmm. Oh, I was trapped in here. Great. A beautiful antique doll is on display. Although it's quite old, it's apparent that it's been well maintained. I am very sorry, sir, but that one isn't for sale, I'm afraid. That's too bad. I couldn't help but admire it. <laughs> Isn't she just the loveliest thing you've ever seen? She's the pride and joy of this little shop. Her name is Anamona. She's been around ever since the Hundred Years' War. The Hundred Years' War? Well... <laughs> You're not from Balduk, are you, dear? Glia was in a war with Bratai, a region across the sea. It lasted a hundred years. All Glians, especially those who live here in Balduk, know it well. Mrs. Rindal! My, my. Oh, you're one of Pendleton's daughters, aren't you? That's right, little Krisha. My goodness, how much you've grown. And we are all grateful for your service, Sir Knight. Sure. What can I do for all of you today? Well, 
We heard that a thief broke into your store. Oh my, you came because you were worried about us? Yes. Is there anything we could do to help? Thank you very much, Grisha. Rodario is just about to take a break. Since you're all here, why don't we enjoy some tea while we talk? And that's how the statue of the saint was stolen. Saint? You mean Saint Rose Vita? Who's that? Um. Saint Rose Vita was a hero who liberated Balduk during the Hundred Years' War. She was only the daughter of a farmer, but ended up leading an army against Bretai. That's right. The stolen statue was made during the Hundred Years' War. Rodario had only recently purchased it not more than a week ago. Oh yeah? Is it worth a lot? Absolutely. And rightfully so. Though it pains us to have something of ours stolen, it's more upsetting that something made in St. Rosvita's image is the object of greed. That's awful. Do you know who the culprit may be? Hmm. About that. The culprit's left a note, but I, I can't be certain if there's any truth to it. Is it okay if we take a look? By all means. Rodario produces a slip of paper. Monstrums was here. Scribbled across it. What is this? This has got to be a joke. A prank by some punk-ass kids. That's what we thought. But there were witnesses who said they saw the monstrums. Similar notes were left in other shops. So many believe the monstrums are to blame. Oh no. But there is something strange about all of this. What is it? Well... well this is merely an observation, but how do I put it? Um, well, their methods were surprisingly crude. Yes, the lock on the door seemed to have been forcibly open. The hawk and the white cat are said to have remarkable powers. Isn't that right? Well, if so, then these methods would be uncharacteristically unremarkable. That's true. Have you reported this to the garrison? Yes, naturally. But they're already very busy with the many other Monstrum complaints. But that was why the Hieroglyph Knight sent you, was it not? I'm grateful that our precious Anamona is safe, at least. And it gives me comfort knowing that little Krisha came to make sure we're all right. Yes, and from what I hear from your father, you left Pendleton to start your own business. Oh, um, it's a long story. I'm sorry. I should have told everyone about it. There's no need to apologize, dear. We knew it was only a matter of time before you seized your own future. Ever since you were a little girl. Huh? You're stronger than you look, and you always keep your customers' best interests in mind. To be frank, we were worried knowing that you and your father don't see eye to eye. But we're positive that you'll do just fine, dear. We have faith in you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Something wrong, Kratos? No, just thinking to myself. We still don't know who's responsible. They're a very nice couple. True, but I don't think it was any of us monsters either. A metal, I have an idea. Why don't we try asking around the other shops that were stolen from too? Our names are on the line, of course, but also, I don't think I can just let this stand. It's like you read my mind. <laughs> well, oh, well that makes things easier. Anyway, let's stop by the other shops around here and find some witnesses to talk to. 
there anything useful in here? Maybe some relic, uh, some uh, of those uh, sacraments. Thank you, Krisha. It warms my heart to see you concerned for our sake. At least uh, Anemona has c came out unharmed. That's the one silver lining in all of this. Oh, welcome, welcome. Incidentally, that statue bears a great deal of historical value. See, the saint's service during the Hundred Years' War was nothing short of brilliant. True, she met a tragic end at the stake upon her capture by the op opposing army, but it is an undeniable fact that she saved Arglia as we know it today. But, st but then it got captured by the- but now it, the Romans are running it. She was granted the title of saint after the war, and w extolled as one ever since. That statue, too, was crafted from her likeness in memoriam. That story gets sour every time I hear it. I just hope we can get the statue back for them. Buy what you like. Oh, save for Anamona. Razor sharp knife. Who you who who wants this one? Ah, a connoisseur, I see. Hmm. Alternate defensive items. Yeah, let's not waste all my money here. I thank you for stopping by. New shop discovered. Let's search for this one too. Oh, new store. 22 so far. Not enough for the threshold. Whenever you like. Hello there. Let's see. Impressive as always, at all. This map may very well be the paradigm for cartography, okay? It's not much, but here. Blade Ring 2? Not very good, I already have that. But maybe I can forge it into something else later. Yeah, don't come back until 30%. Yeah. Monsters, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night, unsheathe your curse, and smite the darkness. It's the worst fucking mechanic in the game. Let's do this, everyone! Oh, fuck. I can do this. My time to shine. God. Is everyone all right? Pull together, everyone. Oh, my goodness, frogs. Is everyone okay? God. I wish I was a monstrum. I wish I. W I wish we. There's no escape. Oh, my goodness. I'll 
I'll be there in a jiff. Let's keep up the pace. Oh. You keep those chins up, darlings. Just one final push. What way are we on? Ugh. Time to finish this. Ah. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. You guys all right? All right. I'll take that You'll find a way through this. Look at all the balls and things we Leave it to me! Leave it to me! Looks like you could use a little relief. Oh my goodness, they're still dudes! Switch! Never mind, they died. Oh, that was chaotic. <laughs> Impressive. And there goes all the knocks I earned. I'm gonna have to build it back up before I complete the next chap- uh, before I complete this chapter, of course. I don't know if that's enough for S rank. <laughs> yes! I'd expect no less from all of you. Now I don't have to do it ever again! <laughs> Fantastically done. Yes. Now I can explore the rest of this place, get all the treasures. Yeah, since everyone regenerates hit points, it's it, it's best to just switch out swap between party members if you get too wounded. Still, of course, you still get penalized for taking damage, but can't win them all. Just gotta get that S rank. Oh, an armor will die to the Roman army. It mustn't hurt illicit feelings, and yet, oh, my QC will white cat. What will it take for me to win you over? Just one touch of your tail is all I want. My tail. Just what is this guy into? Huh, a treasure chest. Gold. Nice. Ha! Huh, there is a sh blue yes, pedal. I see a ton of in that tree. Oh, this is. Oh crap! The tree's gonna be a difficult one to deal with. Another one. Yeah, tree houses several, but I think it'd be better to glide to it. Yes, like that. We did it! A treasure chest. Red cheese. Red meat. Hmm. Oh, we got the graffiti. Now I just need to find the petals and uh, 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 petals and the chests. Yes. White meat. Ah, oh, found one. It's right near the entertainment district for some reason. I see. Oh, this one was a tricky one to find. Yes, got one. Yep, I think that that one on the tower. The blue azure petal. That's pretty much it for this area. Might as well turn them all in. Did you bring me some petals? Ten of, at a time, huh? One happy girl. Seventy so far. I That's a lot of beautitude. Thank you. Pre pink received. Okay. 
Thanks a bunch. If you find any more Azure Pels, you know where to bring them. Speaking of which, the Monstrums ended up hitting this workshop too, right? You didn't see them or anything, did you? Actually, I did see some strange figures sometime around dawn. I see, I see. That proves it then. They really are the culprits. I thought the Crimson King was, a, was, was, was of a decent sort, with all the, I've heard about him lately. Though I also hear the Feral Hawk went on a rampage through the chapter house in prison. Well, if you can't trust one monster, you can't trust any in the end. Oh, welcome. How can I help you? Huh, a little birdie told me you were spreading rumors about me just now. Um, if we could have a moment of your time. We want to ask you about the monstrums. You said you saw some shadows that looked like them leaving your workshop, right? Oh, you heard that, huh? Yeah, I saw them, all right. Three of them, all together. They were scurrying around in front of my workshop as if a forge was lit beneath them. I think it was the white cat, the hawk, and the doll. That sounds about right. You're kidding. Be fair, I can't say I know for sure either way. Do you know where the monstrums headed when they left? Well, I heard them argue for a bit. Then they ran towards the west gates and skipped town. They left from the west gates. Yep, there's no mistaking it. Almost no one exits the west gates at dawn, you see. I'm guessing they must have some sort of hideaway outside of town. If the culprits really were monstrums, the curse would have kept them from leaving Balduk. Looks like we're starting to get somewhere. Let's see what else we can find out. Hold it right there. You're a remotely little trio if I've ever seen one. Oh, um. Ain't this lady from the prison? This might end up more trouble than we asked for. My name is Ingrid. I'm the per er, the interrogator of Balduk Prison. We're currently conducting a manhunt in pursuit of a red-haired male fugitive. His name is Al Kristen. Have you heard anything of him? Sorry, but uh, we actually have somewhere to be right now. I see. I'll leave you to it then. By the way, you there. Hieroglyph Knight. Hmm? Despite a full sweep of the city, hardly any witnesses have even so much as seen at all. I understand your highway inspections have similarly gone without incident. Pulling that off is beyond preposterous, no matter how skillful his escape may have been. So allow me to ask you this, did Adol truly break out of prison? What's with this chick? Who can say? As far as they told me, he did. I see. Very well then. If you will excuse me. Oof, what a waste of time. I thought my heart was going to stop for a moment there. But we can't let this get us down. Let's try asking around some more. Man, I couldn't catch so much as a squirrel out here. There. Hunting season is just about over too. Real friends on my side they are. Um, excuse me, is something the matter? Well, I'm, in a, I'm a hunter. I, I found my quarries in the forest to the northwest, or at least I did. See, there's a de deserted village there some shady bunch keeps popping in and out of. And ever since they have, the boars and deer won't come anywhere near there. To the northwest, huh? So it's out past the west gates then. Yeah, it's a bit of a trek off the north end of the highway. Adol, that shady bunch he mentioned. They must be the culprits. If only we could go and see. Go, we're kind of trapped here. I know what you mean, but we're trapped here whether we like it or not. Maybe there's still something we can do. Why don't we ch try checking the west gates out ourselves? We're seeing ahead will advance the story. It's recommended you prepare your equipment beforehand. The culprits should be this way. What do you plan to do? Oh, um... I was wondering if there was a way to get past the barrier. If there was a way, I would have found it a long time ago. We're free as long as we're inside the city. Nothing we can do about it, though. What good is our gifts if they won't let us help people when they need it most? I hate not being able to do anything. We must so we'll solve this curse, I promise. There must be something we can do. Well... I hope so. Maybe we can p uh, uh, tell Shadow Lord that there might be something over this way and he'll do it. I... I want to learn the truth behind the curse, too. Maybe then, I'll have a better understanding of what I have to do. That's the spirit. <laughs> right. I won't go back to being the girl who just waited for things to happen. <laughs> I only hope these thieves are going to put up a half-decent fight. But I hate to say that we might have to leave this to the authorities. Oh. <sighs> 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 
Crimson King. Monstrums. Is that you? <laughs> Did she, does she try to fight the Lemurites without us? Aprilis! You're terribly hurt! And these scars... why? <laughs> what happened to you? We need to tend to your wounds. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. You... must... Stop! They're not ready yet! Is this... the Grimwald Knox? Something seems different. We didn't automatically transform? This must be... It's the Grimwald Knox... with a full moon? I sense the presence of monsters more powerful than those we faced before. No, you have seen this before? This is... Um, obviously, given our reactions. <laughs> All of you must survive this. By any means necessary. Protect the Sphine. The full moon's loom. You would do well to prepare. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh my goodness. There's so many of them. Oh, so many of these mini boss assholes. Oh my goodness. Is everyone all right? Roll together, everyone. Oh my goodness. I knew you had it, Adol. My time to shine. Leave it to me. Keep them coming. Uh. I'll be there in a chair. I got this. You keep those chins up, darlings. Leave it to me. Better get these repaired. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All fixed up. <laughs> All in a day's work. Let's keep this up. Okay. My time to shine. Let's go. Here I go. Yeah. Down here. Where are you? Tapping you in, pussycat. Yeah. You ready for this? Oh fuck! It's this angel fucker. Another one! I hate the camera system! Oh my goodness. 
Oh. Looks like you could use a little relief. Magnificent work. Okay, Krisha. Four. Fuck. My time to shine. Okay. A little love solves everything. Ambushes. Oh no. Let me. Uh, uh, I have to go near it. Base. You must remain calm. Oh my goodness. Uh. Man, I wish I was a monstrum. There's still more. My time to shine. Leave it to me. Oh. Hang in there, everyone. Oh, there's too many bosses. Who else wants some? In a day's work. Better show me. Oh, fuck, really? Lord of the Night. Oh my goodness, there's too many of these guys. Ah! Not exactly my forte. That one was easy. We'll find a way through this. Oh my goodness, it's going full pinwheel. Looks like you could use a little relief. A little love solves everything. You better get these repaired. This is so stupid. Ah. Fuck off. Your work pleases me. Yes. Yes. Crimson line. 
Can't believe I got that first try, but let's see if, uh, my ranking. <laughs> Impressive. Six minutes of pain. I don't know if I made it. Oh, got it. I'd expect no less from all of you. Spirit elixir. I was getting worried there. Pierce talisman. Okay. Party typing bonuses. One of each increases where I am drop rate, but having same types in the party will increase the damage, which could be better for bosses if they don't have any specific weaknesses. Hmm. Uh, we managed to make it through. Compared to usual Grimwaltz, that one was a whole nother level. Indeed, it is doubtful we would have failed had we not joined together. Job well done, all of you. Job well done. I think you owe us more explanations than congratulations this time around. Your wings are looking pretty clipped. How about we cage you up and make you sing? Just how long do we have to keep fighting like this? And more importantly... How are we supposed to break this curse? The Grimwald Nox has manifested in this realm since time immemorial. So long as humanity walks this land, it will continue to do so without end. You don't mean that... The curse can't be broken. No, no way! Hold up, these battles have been going on since ancient times, right? That means someone had to have been fighting the Lemurys before us. With all those scars on your body, don't not mention that arm and leg. You trying to say someone was loaned some old you all those years? Wait, what? That can't be. It was until only a while ago. These false limbs serve uh, as scars to remind. Whistle. However, there once was a time when I had comrades of my own. Comrades? You say the battles would continue so long as humanity walked this land. Would the extinction of mankind then not summarily end the need to fight? Doll. That's a little extreme. I am aware that I must explain things eventually, but now is not the time. Crimson King, the end of this full moon Grimwald should bring about a radical change. Follow your adventurer's intuition and you will be sure to uncover it. What kind of radical change? Well. You should notice before long, once you return to town. The Nox is beginning to dawn. I shall tell you all I know in due time, you have my word. But until then, I am afraid I will need you to continue your duties as you have. Seriously, we had to fight three of those in one chapter, and the, this this full moon one was kind of insane. Aprilis, humph. And we're back. I can barely believe what we just heard. Aprilis has been fighting all by herself before we came along. But why is that exactly? Why does she need her help now? She must not be strong enough. Maybe something unexpected happened. Well. Hmm, guess it's possible. But as long as it gives me a place to let loose, I ain't complaining. Huh? Hey look, over there! The barrier? Did it expand? The Westgate Barrier, it's... It's disappeared. No freaking way, don't tell me it's seriously gone. Yeah. Ah. Huh, you've gotta be kidding me. That damn barrier never budged no matter what we threw at it. But now it vanished just like it, any other barrier in town. This must be that radical change April has mentioned. Main gates don't seem to have changed at all, though. Must have been, only been for here. Doesn't look like we have free reign once we get through the west gate either. Looks like it. I can see another barrier just a few uh, crim lay away. Crimily. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Crimily. 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 Might as well still be trapped in the city when it comes down to it. 
But at least we can go after Urs and Link Peeps now. And then their Turtler hideout is just like one centimeter within the barrier. Though I'm still a little uneasy about all that stuff April has told us. Like I said, as long as I can get let loose, I don't care if this curse never gets lifted. Gotta admit though, being coming up in this town for months on end wears you down. Won't people get suspicious if they ever require you to go beyond the barrier for business reasons? Or job reasons? What do you say we go blow off some steam no holds barred? Blow off some steam, man. What about your nightly duties? What about them? This investigation's well on this way, ain't it? I just hope those even punks don't end up going down too fast. Let's go, all. What? Crimson Wrap Support Skill reached level 2? Barrier lifted is Stott Road. Switch! Alright! Give it to me! Hmm. <laughs> Got quite a bit of money from all that, too. Oh, it feels good leaving the city after all this time. Heading down west on Estat Road should take us to a freeway junction. Normally, we just have to veer north to get to the deserted village. But last I remember, the path there is blocked off at the moment. We're going to have to look for a way around somehow. Got it. Looks like we can still use our gifts outside of the town at least. Let's head out. Looks like we've hit a fork in the road. One moment, please. Huh? Oh, it's you. Salutations. It would please me if I could join you. Ah! Oh. If you're asking, you must know where we're going. And I thought you were a stick in the mud. What's with the change? You could say I have a bit of a history with the antique shop that was robbed. Nonetheless, there is another reason why I wish to join you. The antique shop? Could you? Huh? Where'd she go? Cradle, look down! You're kidding me. She's the doll that was on display at the Rheindahl's shop. Anamona. That is the name I was given. Upsy daisy Pardon me, miss. You're an actual doll! I guess that weird feeling I had at the shop was because of you. So, Aprilis's magic bullets work on dolls too, huh? Perhaps. I would not know. I do not have any memories from before I awoke in the Rheindahl shop. You don't remember being cursed? That is correct. I will tell you my earliest memory. When I first awoke in the shop, I was unable to move at all. Though I suppose that was to be expected. I was merely a doll. But I asked myself, why did I awake at all? Day after day I pondered this. But I could not comprehend the reason. Then, one day, I had a thought. I wished to see the world outside. It was at that moment that I found I could move my arms and legs. With my newfound freedom, I was now able to leave the shop in secret. I realized I was searching for something. As if a string was pulling me somewhere. But I did not know what I was looking for. When I thought to myself that I wished to find out, I discovered my gift as a monstrum. In this sense, my becoming a monstrum differs quite a bit from yours. Man, you sure you didn't pull that straight out of a fairy tale? Dolls are not meant to have wills of their own, as humans do. But whenever I act upon my own will, I can feel something within me change. If I am with you, Crimson King, I believe I will find what I am looking for. This is what my intuition tells me. That was a lovely story, Anamona. I guess you can come with us. Sounds interesting. You're welcome to come. Yeah. Indeed. You are quite a fascinating fellow yourself. Um... What's wrong, pussycat? 
Well, it's just... I thought maybe you wanted to return the stolen statue to the shop. I have no such sentiment. I am merely a doll. Oh, I see. Be that as it may, the only ones who can fix me are Mr. and Mrs. Rindall. Their distress from the recent robbery has caused me some manner of inconvenience. Ah! <laughs> so long as you don't get in my way, I couldn't care less what you do. Thank you. Pardon me. I am glad we have this discussion. I will do my utmost to be of service. Alright. The north road from this fork leads to the abandoned village. But it's been blocked by a recent landslide. We'll need to find a detour. You seem to be familiar with this region. I used to come here all the time as a kid. Hey, Adol. Let's get a move on. Anemona has joined the party. Now I can set my active members. But standby members only receive half the XP. Hmm. So I have to rotate them? And, uh, 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 hmm. She's level 23, so I should probably keep her in the party. Actually, since Krisha seems to have easier level requirements than everyone else, she should probably be in the, the, the one in standby. I also need to do something about her gear. It kind of sucks. Third eye. Are free. You can see hidden things. Enemies behind walls, normally unseen traces. Breakable objects behind walls. Okay. It's kind of nice that our group's getting bigger. Don't you think? I do not entirely comprehend that sentiment. I'd rather work alone. Oh, I guess I'm the only one then. Hmm, you can see the footprints of those thieves. I have detected something. <laughs> That's quite convenient. Okay, but I should probably turn it off so I don't waste my gift gauge. But what if I go back in the city? She doesn't exactly have a human form. Well, here we are back in town. Let's head to the abandoned village once we finish up any left over business. Um, and then, oh, no, is something wrong? It's only trivial matter, really. I expect it may prove inconvenient for me to move about town my, with my current appearance. If only there were a, solu a solution to be had. Oh, you know, I think I might just have, to, have just a thing to help. I'll go and bring it over. Back, be back in a moment. Whatever, just hurry it up. See, she'll be in her monstrum form, but she can wear clothes to hide her doll joints. I see, you mean for me to wear these overgarments while in the swarm? A brilliant proposition indeed. I found it in one of Pendleton's quality assurance warehouses. It was just gathering dust in there, so wear as much as you need. Thank you very much. I shall treat it with the utmost care. So, we head into the abandoned village or what? Let's finish up here and go already. Right. Understood. Say the word. Oh, I can give him the. Oh, you're the one who needs the knife. Here. You give Tito the razor sharp knife as a present. You're telling me this thing makes cuts so clean you can't even see them? Come on, Adol, it's not like I don't believe you, but I'm not sure that's even possible. Hmm. There's a limit to how finely you can sharpen steel, you know? Well, why don't we try it out, then? Come on, let me see. Arche, be careful. This isn't a toy, you know? Whoops, too late. Hiya! Arche cleaves a nearby apple in two. The halves stay put, as if they had never been cut to begin with. <laughs> well, you say stuck back to Garrett, and that's what I call sharp. I don't believe it. Hey, wait a minute. I was gonna have that apple for a snack later. So, it stuck back together, didn't it? You heard the lady. And it doesn't mean I'm convinced. But say what you will, there's no way I could just return to normal like that. I've seen street performers pull it off, sure, but those were all just illusions. It's just not possible, barring magic. I mean, who made this thing anyway? Huh? What's wrong, Tito? Was this made by their father? Wait, isn't that daddy's name card on it? Yeah, no doubt about it. Dad was the one who forged this knife. But how did he manage to get it this sharp? Guess I've got a ways to go before he can even come close to this level. You'll get there, Tito. Yeah, someday. 
But for now, all I can do is believe in myself and carry on. Um. Thanks for a present, Adol. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll have to see what kind of techniques of my dad's I can glean from this. Okay. Yeah. I always took Krayo for a rude, crude type. No offense to him, I mean. Okay. He's pretty thorough when it comes to maintaining his sword. It's weird, huh? I'm ready and raring to go. Mm. Let me know if you need any. I'm ready and raring to go. Okay, hers is actually already maxed out, but I just probably need to give her some accessories well, and heavy armor. Time. New relic added pentacle. That probably would have helped a lot earlier. Status effects. Huh. Does not affect at all, fortunately. Let's do that's a wrap. Oh man, it's gonna cost a lot to make this. Let's do this. Good thing I farmed a lot of knocks earlier. Let's do that's a wrap. Okay, I'm glad we can actually bring her into the city. That means I should be able to get her to benefit from this bath, right? Okay, so that's 400, so that's actually everyone, even reserve party members. Good. Thanks much, Lee. Everyone's hit points fully recovered and uh, in the maxed by, in, hit point increased by 10. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Ease 9 Monstrum Nox. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.